Classically trained violinist Lindsey Sterling rose to fame via YouTube and America's Got Talent. She released her debut solo album in 2012 and can be heard on the John Legend hit All of Me. She joins me now to talk about her new sophomore album. Lindsey, so great to have you here. Wonderful. Well, thank you for having me. You chose classical music. I know you were brought up that way, learning at a very young age. It's not the easiest path to break through, right? I mean, right. you face some challenges just because of the music industry today. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you kind of overcome that? Well, I think it was just by pursuing what I wanted to. You know, I'd played classical music for years. I started to get very burnt out, and mm. I just found myself one day being like, I used to love this, and I don't, I don't love it anymore at all. And so I li thought, well, what do I love to listen to? I love, I really am getting into this Skrillex stuff, this weird dubstep experimental music at the time. And, uh, you know, I just started writing the kind of music I loved rather than just doing what everybody else had done. And I didn't do it with anticipation of this is going to be successful. It was just, I need to reinvigorate my passion again. And suddenly I was so driven. I've never been driven as, as much about anything in my life. And before, you know, before I knew it, I was full-fledged like this YouTuber. Piers Morgan from America's Got Talent famously called, said that the world does not need a dubstep violinist. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Aww. Seriously, that bad. How did that kind of influence you and change your direction, or you know, inspire you? Just hearing those words. Um, you know, it was. He said quite a few things that night, and it was very crushing. I was absolutely devastated and to say I was humiliated is a huge understatement I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life and I just remember like sobbing in the dressing room afterwards thinking like how I can never step on a stage again and you know I I mourned it for a little bit but then I just got this incredible like no I'm not gonna give up I'm not ready to give up yet I love this and I am going to prove him wrong and in my first album liner it actually you know I have the thank yous thank my parents and like you know so and so and I thank Piers Morgan because he gave me so much motivation like because he said I couldn't do it and he said it so strongly I was so excited all of a sudden to prove him wrong. Do, have you ever connected with him since? I'm actually a little sad that his show canceled because I always wanted to be a guest on it but inside I'm actually a little happy that it got canceled. So. <laughs> Your album just debuted at number one on iTunes. Good feeling, right? Yeah, it's kind of overwhelming, and I don't think anyone's more shocked slash excited than me. I just feel like a kid in a candy store, like, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> really great news. It's called Shatter Me, which is pretty an intense title for an album. How does that set the tone for the entire record? Well, the whole album is basically about breaking free. And it's kind of, I mean, I feel like my first album was a lot more lighthearted and fun-filled and just kind of, yay, happy-go-lucky. And I think this album, I dug a lot deeper back to the things from my past where I learned to break free. And basically, I, I think a lot of times people have to go through this process, but I had to basically learn to shatter the walls that I had created around me. And at the time, I thought that was me and I felt like I had to shatter myself, but it wasn't me. It was all these limitations I put on myself. How does that process work when you're going through that writing process and coming up with the songs? Well, you know, especially most of my tracks are instrumental, so I write a lot off of feelings. And, mm. you know, like, you know, when I'm working with the producers, I'm like, let's find a chord that sounds more desperate, you know, or let's find a, let's find a, a, a melody that's more, you know, I think what sounds victorious. And so it's a lot off of what do I want people to feel? Because I can't say it. I have to just emote it. We heard the track Beyond the Veil. How did that one come about? Was that an in-studio song? It was. Yeah. Yeah, I met with the producer, we started working on the back track, and then I stepped into the booth and just started to improvise. So cool. Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm appears on one of the tracks. She sings vocals. She's very cool. How did mm -hmm. that collaboration come about? Well, I was, you know, I wrote this song and originally I thought I might sing it, and I do, and then it turned into this like hard hitting heavy I was like wow I could never sing this <laughs> and I want I love singers like Amy Lee from Evanescence Paramore you know Haley Williams and um, I discovered Lizzie Hale and was was immediately like I want her to be on my album I just fangirled out as soon as I met her and uh, but yeah she's she's been a blast to work with and just inspiring. So will we get to hear you sing on an upcoming album?
Possibly. I have a very, a very sweet, simple voice, so it works for certain songs, but, you know, if I want someone to belt it out, it's definitely not going to be me. Well, Lizzie Howe's a good choice. <laughs> right. You're taking the songs on the road, and yes. you're going to be on tour for most of this year. What can we expect on the road? Ooh, I'm so excited. We go out in less than two weeks. I can't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. But um, it's going to be, I'm trying some new things. I've got uh, a pair of backup dancers this time. Fun. I like it. so fun. And I'm learning choreography for the first time. Um, and uh, let's see what else. We're just, we're playing with a lot of different things. I'm going to have multiple violins. It's a rock show. It's loud. It's fun. It's family friendly. And um, I think one of my favorite tweets I ever saw was a guy saying, this is the first concert, me and my mom were both excited excited to go to. So cute. And I love that. I love that everyone's welcome, whether you're five years old or whether you're 70. Like, I see it all. Every, you know, teenagers, all in between, come and they can have fun. Great. Well, I hope to be in the audience as well when you come through New York. I hope so. All right, Lindsay, thank you so much for coming by today. Thank it's really you great for chatting with me. you. Yeah. Lindsay Sterling, our new album is called Shatter Me. For this and all things entertainment, stay at CBSNews.com.